Obviously, you're nothing in the game of snooker these days unless you've got a nickname. Obviously, Whirlwind, Hurricane, Tornado, Tony Drago, John, Drizzly, but clearing up later, Parrot. Whatever the nicknames are, uh, you have to have one. Well, many years ago, I think it was about 14 stroke 15, I'd been doing well in the Northwest Juniors, and they asked me to go on a TV program in Manchester in the studio called Stopwatch, I think it was, or something like that. Anyway, my hero was there, he was there, Steve Davis, who was just starting off on his professional career. And um, we had a chat and everything, asked him a few questions and everything. And they said to me, John, is there any shot you'd like to see Steve play? And I turned and I said, I'd love to see him play the machine gun shot. You know, and that's basically where there's seven reds in a line and a cue ball. And you tap the cue ball first and you go bang, 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 bang. And you knock all the other reds in and the cue ball goes in last. Well, I think he's hated me ever since. There's 45 minutes later, the cameraman getting rather frustrated and so was the director because Steve couldn't do the shots. <laughs> I don't think he's ever liked me since then. The early days, obviously, in Plumstead, I was the Plumstead Potter in the local papers. I then moved to Romford, where I met Barry Hearn. I became called the Romford Robot. For a little while, before everybody knew what style I played, I was called Dynamo Davis. Uh, that didn't really stick. And then later on, obviously, you know, well into the future, I became interesting via spitting image. But along the way, there were a few others that some have stuck, some have been very endearing. Um, Jimmy White nicknamed me back in the early 80s, Golden Balls, well before David Beckham got that name. And one of my favourites was the Ginger Magician, for obvious reasons, although not so obvious now. He rang me up just out of blue once and he said, would you like to have a practice? I think he got to a stage in his life that, you know, he thought he might be better if he started playing with some of the younger guys. We used to play at the match room in Romford. Um, this was many years ago. I had, you know, I had blonde curtains and I used to flick it back and it, you know, it was all there. You now it's all gone. We'd only play like a best of nine or maybe a best of 19, but it'd always be for a fiver, you know, or we'd play for lunch like a cup of tea and a toasted cheese sandwich. And of course his father was always there, you know, he'd order his pint of, his beamish or pint of stout and he'd smoke his big cigar and he'd sit there watching and he'd be our only audience, you know. Honestly, he'd be playing his shot and his eyes would be bulging and you'd think his eyes were going to pop out and this big vein comes up where he was absolutely trying his plums off, you know what I mean? It's probably not even about the fibre, it's just about the winning. And of course, it was like the World Championship for me, like I'm playing the great Steve Day, a six times world champion. Here I am, a raw, green, young kid, just off the boat from Dublin, and I'm playing uh, Steve Davis for a, a, a cup of tea and a cheese sandwich. How better does it get than that? I could see him. At the corner of my eye, we'd be eating our lunch and having a drink, and I could see him, and he'd be looking at me, going, oh, he's done me. And it won't be a lot of times, but maybe the two or three times I did beat him, the sandwiches tasted nice. The nickname that some people asked me what, how I got it was the Nugget. And effectively, what used to happen in the early days as an amateur, I used to go around the country touring, uh, and Barry Hearn, in his early days as a promoter, put me and Vic Harris on, to play all comers from around the country against top amateurs. And we used to have a bit of a following that used to come around the country with us. And they used to gamble on the match with the other guy's friends. And my strike rate was so good that I used to win 90, 95% of these matches. Not win a beam myself, but my friends used to win a load of money. And I became their little nugget. I was their golden nugget, money in the bank.